everybody back again with another video it's finally happened you know it was supposed to happen in the last video I was a little disappointed because I felt like the last one just you know it, it wasn't really something I'd watch unless I was trying to learn how to change the antenna on my E46 so hopefully this is a little more exciting for you it is for me but I finally got the E36 in the garage so let me go ahead and flip the camera and kind of explain what's next so for those that this is maybe their first video watching this is my 1994 325 IC it is a convertible but luckily it's also a five-speed the interior is in pretty good shape considering it was sitting for years it's a little dirty right now but after a good detail and a shampoo of the carpet I might even just replace the carpet if I plan on keeping it a while. I've already replaced the fuel pump. That's pretty much all it needed to run, but in order for it to drive, I'm thinking I need to replace the clutch slave, which is down here. I'll go ahead and show you guys. For those that maybe aren't familiar, sorry for all the banging on the camera, but that right there, is the slave cylinder clutch slave and without that working properly the clutch won't disengage and re-engage so there's a rod in there similar to a brake master cylinder that'll push brake fluid in to engage or disengage a clutch so yeah the car will go into gear fine when it's off with the engine running it's not disengaging so it's only grinding so I haven't been able to drive it yet and that's why I had to have it towed in here man uh, took a lot longer than I really wanted it to but buddy did it for free so I can't really complain and uh, so yeah that's where we're at let me go ahead and flip the camera again and kind of show you what else is going on so for those of you that aren't necessarily familiar with these older BMWs, this is an inline six engine. It's a 2.5 liter. These are known to be really good for turbo. You wanna know why? The block is cast iron, so they can hold at least about four or 500 horsepower just how they're sitting. It's a good idea to replace the head gasket and put some head studs in, but it's not really required. You know, it's smart but you don't absolutely have to. If you don't, and you're really abusive on it though, you're more than likely gonna be tearing it apart pretty soon, so. I'll probably just go ahead and do it. And uh, right now, as you can see, it's been sitting a while, so it's really dirty. Just been hitting it with some engine degreaser while I wait to hear back from someone. I actually had another failure on the ZHP where the, uh, the alternator is going out. Just not too crazy, you know. That's a pretty normal maintenance item, especially for a you know a 20-year-old car. So I'm not too upset. It's really cheap and easy to replace. Literally just take the fan out, the air duct, and you've got it right there. Just unplug it. Make sure to unplug the battery first, but then unplug it and pull it out. And that's where the E36 was parked for a couple weeks. Thankfully, the code enforcement guy left me alone. Give me a two week advance and then I just never heard from him. No, I believe it. Wow, this is great. Yeah, and all those are gonna go right here. So, at least I got it out though. It's already registered and fully insured. Luckily the convertible top on these models is really easy. You know, if it's not working, you can pretty much put it down manually alone within a couple minutes. Just waiting to hear back so I can maybe pick up a used alternator. They usually go for like 50 bucks and they want over 200 for a remanufactured alternator. I'll just go buy a used one that I know is OEM and I guarantee it'll last way longer for a quarter of the price. And if it doesn't, I haven't even paid half as much as they wanted for a remand one and I'll just throw another one in. So. Hopefully someone gets back to me soon so I can get a used one. If not, I'm going to be forced to go buy a brand new one or a new one because you boys got to get to work, you know. Uh, buying a house and living alone ain't cheap, so I've got to 
get back on the road. You know, for now I do a lot of delivery work for different companies, whether it be packages, groceries, fast food, whatever. You know, and it pays pretty well in my area, so I love driving. It works out pretty well. It's so flexible schedule-wise, allows me to kind of, you know, take it easy on days. My medical issues are really catching up to me, or on days I just want to work as much as I can. I can work as many hours as I want, so it pays pretty well. Um, so I'm just going to get back to kind of cleaning up the engine bay. When I go out to pick up the alternator, I'm going to pick up a 7mm deep socket so that I can get the bleeder valve on the clutch slave undone, and then I'll be able to throw the new one in there. I don't know, maybe there'll be a, a first drive video next time with the E36, you'll have to stick around and find out. But until then, thanks for watching and do whatever you want to do. Leaving a comment really helps me out and helps me get discovered along with watch time. So I appreciate you guys. Catch you next time. Thank you.